Hello, it's Vishir Faudel with lovethecourse.com, and we continue our journey into project management. Today, we're going to talk about stage three with its execution. In the five stages of project management, we spoke about the first one, which is initiation. Number two is the planning. Now we get into what we call launching or executing the project. As we're launching our project, there's a couple of things that we need to identify, and that's what we're discussing today. For instance, we need to have status and tracking. How are we going to track things and have a status update of what we're working on? Number two are KPIs, which is kind of the key performance indicators. How do we know that things are working as properly as they need to do, which leads us to quality and then the forecast as how we're going to look at things. So let's dig a little bit deeper into this. Project managers may direct this work by overseeing a team, managing budget and resources, and also communicating with the stakeholders. So we talked about number one, which is project initiation, number two, which is project planning. Now it's project execution. Let's dig a little bit deeper now. Part of what we do as project managers in the execution phase is, number one, we are recruiting and organizing the project team. We have five developers. Who from those five are going to be working in our project? Or how many hours are they working? We might have one person that's only available 20 hours a week. Or we might have three developers in our team the business analysts, the stakeholders, the subject matter experts. So the first thing in the execution is you're identifying who is going to be my team, the recruiting and organizing the project team. Number two is we're establishing the team operating rules in terms of when do we meet, what's expected, how do we communicate, if it's through Slack, is it through Teams, uh, if it's through certain documentations, we're going to have SOPs and standards. So as a project manager, as I'm building my team, I'm also establishing the operating rules. Number three in execution is assembling project resources, making sure not only the human resources that we talked about, but what other resources do we need in terms of servers that we need access to or security or, uh, you know, certain things, maybe it's financials, maybe it's budgets, mm -hmm. but basically whatever resources that we have available, that we are assembling it and putting it together in our project as we're executing. Number four is going to be the schedule, the execute work plan, that we have a start date, an end date, the tasks that we're working on, the duration that it's going to take, uh, who's going to be working on what, what their start date is, what their end date is, the budget that we're working with, the burn. So basically all of this comes under the execution. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we need to document the work progress. So project execution on a higher level includes recruiting and organizing our project team, establishing team operating rules, assembling the project resources, scheduling and executing the work plan, and then finally documenting our work progress, which all prepares us for the next one, which is the next phase, the fourth one, which is monitoring and controlling our project. So before we can monitor and control the project and get into that phase, this is why we need the execution is identifying and basically putting a scoreboard, having our scoreboard ready so that we can monitor and control our projects. So again, first phase is conception initialize, initiation. The second one is definition and planning. The third one is launch or execution. And that is where we are having status and tracking, building our kind of scoreboard of status and tracking, of KPIs, of quality, and a forecast before we go to the fourth phase, which is performance and controls. So now to complete our journey, simply go to lovelycourse.com, scroll down, go to the course, which in this case is project management, log into your course. We're gonna go down to the section, which is the fourth stage, which is monitoring, I'm sorry, the third stage, which is execution. And then log into the lesson, study the notes that are inside execution. Once you're done, go to the course, scroll all the way down to the practice exam where you're gonna find multiple questions, multiple choice questions, answer the ones, the ones that you get correct, hopefully you get all of them correct. The ones that you get correct, you're gonna get it auto-corrected for you. If there's anything that's wrong, it's gonna show you the wrong answer and then uh, the right answer for the one that you got wrong, it ho hopefully you never get a single one wrong, but then you can retake the test over and over until you're ready for the certification exam. Finally, Please don't forget to visit lovelycourse.com slash events. We always have a lot of free events. We hope to see you there where we can answer and be involved with you in any questions that you might have. Best of luck and hope to see you in the next session. Thanks for your time.